Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So continuing our discussion about antibiotics, now we are going to talk about the glycyl cyclines. Uh, the glycyl cyclines uh, are uh, also from the protein synthesis inhibitors and the prototype drug for the glycyl cyclines is the Tagi cycline. It is the prototype drug and it is the only available drug from the glycyl cyclines and it is derived from the minocycline derived from a minocycline which is a tetracycline uh, and the glycyl cyclines are considered a group by themselves different from the tetracyclines because they are different in the spectrum, being able to work on more resistant organisms and are, they are also different in the adverse effects. In this video, we will talk about the agents of this group, the pharmacokinetics, the mechanism of action, the spectrum, the resistance, the therapeutic uses and the adverse effects. So, let's start. So, regarding the agents of the glycyocycline, we have the only available drug which is the Tagi uh, cycline. It is the prototype and the only available drug. So, prototype glycyocycline, proto, prototype, and the only available agent and has a half-life of uh, 36 hours half-life. So let's talk about the pharmacokinetics of the glycyl cyclines. Uh, regarding the administration, we have the tagycycline is available uh, as intravenous formula only. So, uh, tagi cycline is intravenous uh, only. Regarding the distribution, Bution, the molecular weight of the tagi cycline is uh, 585. So, 500. The five molecular weight. It has poor penetration uh, to the uh, cerebrospinal fluid. Poor penetration to CSF. Poor crossing of the body brain barrier, and it has uh, good concentrations in body fluids. Like the prostate, uh, the pleura, etc. Uh, and it cross the placenta and cause uh, porn abnormalities to the fetus. So it is same, same with the tetracyclines. So it is contraindicated in pregnancy. Regarding the, the distribution also, uh, the tagycycline has uh, poor blood levels, poor blood levels, so it is not good for uh, blood stream infections. Not good for uh, blood infections like sepsis, etc. The metabolism of the tagycycline is in the liver. and the excretion is through the bile uh, so it is there is no dose adjustment for people with renal insufficiency and only there is dose adjustment with people with hepatic insufficiency regarding the mechanism of action of the tagycycline it is same with the tetracycline it bind to 30s ribosomal subunits and 
uh, inhibit protein synthesis uh, and it bind to 30S by weak uh, bond so it is bacteriostatic now let's talk about the spectrum of the tiger cyclin uh, the spectrum is very broad spectrum even uh, more broad than the tetracyclines spectrum and it is not affected by the common resistant patterns against the tetracyclines so not affected by common uh, resistance patterns uh, tigacycline is active against active against uh, methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus uh, vancomycin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, vancomycin intermediate, Staphylococcus aureus, and vancomycin uh, resistant enterococci. And it is also active against enterobacteria C. and multi-drug resistant Acinobacter and also active against the anaerobes and it is not active against Brocheus or Pseudomonas so not active uh, against the proteas or the pseudomonas now let's talk about the therapeutic uses of the tagacycline it is uh, it is used for complicated skin infections so complicated uh, skin intra-abdominal uh, and intra-abdominal infections and for community acquired pneumonia for complicated community acquired pneumonia and of course with the resistant organisms that are mentioned before finally let's talk about the adverse effects of the tagacycline so uh, nausea and vomiting in 30 percent of patients and those does not require uh, infections those does not require the discontinuation of the drug there is also increase uh, in risk of mortality it's there is a small but significant increase in risk uh, of mortality uh, in people who taking this drug compared to other alternative alternatives available uh, also one of the adverse effects it is the acute appendicitis by uh, unknown mechanism uh, and also there is an elevation in liver enzymes and the creatinine while using this drug other side effects are the same with the tetracycline so other side uh, effects same with the tetracycline such as the pseudotumor cerebri pseudotumor cerebri and the photoallergic reactions the abnormal teething in kids etc and with that we reach at the end of this video thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video 
make sure you like and subscribe.